Good evening, guys. Good evening, Anna Elizabeth, um, Erlene, Mauricio. Good evening, sorry. teacher. Ignacio. Good evening. All right, excellent. Oh my God, Nancy Oyente tonight. Pero por unos minutos, <laughs> porque vengo llegando a casa ahorita. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Sí, por unos minutos. All right, no problem. Thank you. You're welcome. So the team. Brian. Okay, we are going to wait until 8.2 for the rest of your classmates to join the class. So then we can start with the topic for today. And in the meantime, of course, I'm going to um, share the presentation so we can start with this. Let's see. Great, excellent. Okay, it's just one more minute, so then we can continue with the class here. All right, we almost finished two more minutes. Okay, so let's see here. Who else has joined here? Mr. William Laines, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Mm, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, work. ¿Cómo se puede decir? Pesado en el trabajo. You can say it was a hard day. It was a hard day. Like this. I was a hard, a hard day. A hard day. A hard day. There you go. Exactly. All right. So that's it. Okay. It's A2 already. So let's start with the class right here. So let's see who else joined the class. So I can see Maria. Good evening, Maria. All right. So hey, let's just start with this one right here. So everybody, thank you for being here on time. I truly appreciate your effort. All right. So we are going to uh, start right now practicing as in every single night with a tongue twister here. All right. Take a look at this one. All right. So we got this one right here about the zebra. Let's see if you can pronounce this one with the letter Z, which is this one we have right here. All right, take a look. It goes here. Z, Z, Z. Everybody repeat it. Zebra. Repeat it. Zebra. 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 It has to be a vibration there, like Z. Zebra. Repeat it. Zebra. 
There you go, excellent. Do not confuse the sound for the Spanish. In Spanish is fibra, right? But that's not the one in English. In English, it has a vibration. Tiene una pequeña vibración, como un zumbido. Z, Z. All right, so, for example, zebra. Wait for everybody, zebra. Zebra. Very good. Zebra. And then we have this pronunciation right here. Zebra, zig, and zebra, zag. One more time, zebra, zig, and zebra, zag. Repeat it. Zebra, zing, and zebra, zag. There we go, excellent. So we go on this one right here. All right, so I can see, hey, good evening, Apner, Mr. Pardo, good to see you. All right, so let's see, David, also, good evening. Good evening Carla, good evening, good to see you. All right, so, and Irma, Irma is joining the class right now, so good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. All right, excellent. So let's continue with this one, practicing, remember, right? So zebra, zig, and zebra, zag. Zebra, zig, and zebra, zag. Zebra, zig, and zebra, zag. But don't forget, que propósito de este tongue twister? It's the pronunciation of the letter Z. Z, 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 como una vibration, right? Zebra, zig, and zebra, zag. One more time. Let's say this practice. Let's practice. I will give you just a couple of minutes to practice. Vamos a dar un par de minutos to practice, and then we will select some volunteers here, all right? So let's see. Let's just take your time to practice. Come on. You can do it. All right. All right. And then I will select a volunteer here. All right. All right. Let's see this one. Let's see this one. All right. So who else, who else? All right, questions about pronunciation? Questions, questions, questions? No questions? Okay, okay. Richard, I don't see you. I don't see the screen. All right, no problem. Let me refresh this thing here and let me know if you can see it. Hold on one second. Thank you. What about now? Can you see it now? Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. So we're gonna take here. All right, all right. Okay, perfect. So let's just continue right now with this one. Do we have a volunteer? It's a very easy one. So volunteers, volunteers? Yes or no? Hello, hello, who's gonna be my volunteer? Hello, hello. Let's see who is it. Mr. Laines, thank you very much. And then Mr. Pardo, all right? So, Mr. Laines, go ahead first. Okay, teacher. Yes. Zebra, zebra thing and zebra sang. 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 Zebra thing, zebra sang, zebra thing, and zebra sang. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So let's just go for this one right here and take a look at this one. Just remember that this is no zinc. No lleva en el zinc. No que solo zig. Zig and zag. All right. So what's the only thing? All right. So repeat it one more time. One more time. You want it. Zebra zig and zebra zag. One more time. Zebra zinc, zebra zang. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Very, very good job. Right. I like it. Thank you. Mr. Pardo, go ahead, please. Okay, zebra sick and zebra sack, 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 zebra sick and zebra sack. Zack, all right, excellent, thank you. Mr. Porter, that was actually good, all right, just remember the pronunciation of the letter Z in English is like Z, like with vibration, you know? Como con vibración. Okay. 
Daniel, repetémoslo uh -huh. una vez más, solo la primera frase, right? Zebra Z, Zebra Zack. Repeat it. Zebra Z, Zebra Zack. There you go, there you go. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, so now let's see who it's going to be. Oh, oh. the next volunteer. Uh, Mauricio Antonio, go ahead, please. Okay. Fibra sit and fibra sat. 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 All right. Excellent. All right. There you go. There you go. There you go. Super good job. I really liked it. That was actually very nice. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's see who else from the ones who are available. Um, Irma, Carla, Mr. Cortez. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Abner, any of you guys volunteers? Oh, Irma. Thank you, Irma. Appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Okay. Thank you, Irma, Thank and you. then Abner. All right. Hello, Abner. All right. Go ahead, please. There you go. <laughs> very good job. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's easy. You see, it's very easy. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Hey, Abner, your turn. Please go ahead. Okay. Seven and seven stand. Seven and 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 seven and seven stand. All right, excellent. So I don't know if it is um, because of the sound, but we escuché zebra. It's zebra in Spanish, right? It has to be zebra. 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 Zebra, zig and zebra, zag. Zebra. Okay. One more time. So, dos veces. La primera dos veces. Zebra, zig and zebra. Zebra, zig and zebra. There you go. Excellent. All right. Uh, le por ahí. Veamos. Thank you, Abner. That was actually good. Thank you and good to see you, sir. Now, let's continue with uh, who's the next volunteer? Carlita. Hello, Carlita. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Zebra sig and zebra sag, 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 zebra sig and zebra sag. Excellent, very good job, right? Like it, easy, right? Super easy, all right? So good, thank you. And who was the last volunteer? Anne Elizabeth, right? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you, go ahead. Uh, Zebra sig and zebra sack. 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 Thank you. That's actually nice. Very good job. I really appreciate that one, right? Thank you, everybody who participated in this activity. So we are going to continue with the next uh, activity here, which is this one right here. So we have two questions, two questions, two questions. So we're going to start practicing here. All right. Everybody, pay attention to question number one, and then you help me to repeat it here. So it's going to be, uh, do you prefer to stay in modern hot? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel? Repeat everybody. One, two, three, go. Repeat it. Do you prefer, do you prefer to, to stay, stay in modern hotels when you travel? travel. Thank you. Let me give you an example so you can actually answer this question, um, you know, in a similar way. So it'd be like, I prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels when you travel. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. So I would say I prefer to stay in modern hotels. All right. Modern hotels because I like the way they look, the way they look, all right? So for example, let's put it in my in mi respuesta, dice, I prefer to stay in modern hotels because I like the way they look. Me gusta 
o prefiero, perdón, quedarme en, en hoteles modernos porque me gusta cómo ellos lucen. All right, so what about you? So, for example, we can check this one right here. Or we can say, for example, I prefer, all right, to stay in antique hotels because of their style. All right, so I prefer to stay in antique hotels because of their style. Por sus, eh, por su estilo. All right, so for example, that could be an option. Can you give me an example, people? Can you give me your example? Do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels? Mm -hmm. What do you think? All right, so let's see. Let me select someone here, all right? Oh, Maria, hello, Maria. Oh, Maria is actually saying on the way home. Okay, no problem. Uh, oh, Carla. Hello, Carla. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> There you go. And I, I prefer to stay in modern hotels. Okay. And because, ¿cómo se dice? Tienen lo necesario. <laughs> And they have... They have... Um, All you need, all you, all you need. need, like this one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, no, They really have did. all you need. <laughs> <laughs> They have all you need. <laughs> all right, excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Carlita, for that one. All right. So what about the next volunteer? Who's going to be the next volunteer? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What about you, Abner? Do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels? Hello? Abner? Thank you, Joe. Do you prefer to stay in modern or antique hotels? In my case, uh, prefer stay in a hotel. Mm -hmm. in, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. In, in what hotels? Yeah. Which one? Mother or antique? Uh, uh, mother. Okay, good. Why? Uh, Because, um, saying in Spanish, aquí le ayudamos, all right? Que es más cómodo. All right. They are more comfortable. All right. There you go. There you go. Excellent. We are more comfortable. Are more comfortable. Thank you comfortable. very much. Veamos que dice aquí Mr. Pardo. He says, I prefer to stay in modern hotels, but some antique hotels are beautiful. Yes. And some modern hotels. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. You did it wonderfully. Very good job. All right. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, all right, let's now go with the question number two. Question number two, it says right there. Let's see. Let me close this here. And it says, where would you like to travel to? All right, everybody, please repeat it. Where would you like to travel to? Repeat it. Where would you like to travel to? Exactly, right? So like that one. Do you understand what this question it's, it means in Spanish? The question number two. Mm -hmm. ¿A dónde prefieres viajar? Yes, ¿a dónde te gustaría viajar? It's ¿A dónde te gustaría? Uh -huh. All right. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Jose, good evening, right? Long time, on see you. Ya rato sin verlo. All right, so. Very good. Uh, let's just go on this one, all right? So, ¿cómo se responde esta question? It's very easy, all right? So. It will be like this one. I would like to travel to 
and then the destination. For example, I would like to travel to Mexico. Europa. All right. Because I like tacos. There you go. For example, right? I would like to travel to Mexico because I like tacos, right? Or I would like to travel to Spain because I like Real Madrid or Barcelona. Vamos a tener pleitos, right? So let's see. All right, excellent. Just to say something, all right? Now, let's uh, share your answers right here. Guys, where would you like to travel to, all right? So, any volunteer? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Any volunteer, any volunteer? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, Mr. Pardo, please tell me, where would you like to travel to? I would like to travel in Italy. Okay. Because I would like to know the Roma. Mm -hmm. Rome. The Rome Church. All right, George. Uh -huh. Church. Uh huh. Church. Okay. Uh All right. Excellent. Thank you. That was actually very good. All right. So. I have some observations, Mr. Um, Pardo. So take a look at this ones I'm going to send right here. All right. So for example, when you said like, I would like to travel to, siempre va al to después de travel, porque es de viajar a. All right. So I would like to travel to Italy, for example. Y en cuanto a known, right? Remember that this is just about like, es conocer, pero acerca de algo. All right. So to know about the culture, to know about the food, to know about the customs, etc. right? Y cuando hablamos de lugares o places, we actually prefer to use visit. I would like to visit the church. I would like to visit the Coliseum, etc. right? Y Roma in English will be Rome. But Mr. Pardo, thank you for participating. You did a very good job, right? Thank you. All right. So let's see. Any other volunteer? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Any other volunteer? Mm -hmm. It says, Mr. Rano, I would like to travel to Panama and visit. Ah, if you visit Boca de Toro. All right. It's Spanglish. Hey, Mr. Rano. <laughs> right. So, me gustaría viajar a Panama and to visit Boca de Toro. All right. I guess that's the correct way. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? We can help me with this one right here. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Irma. Good evening. Hello. Surprise. Tell me, where would you like to travel to? Mm -hmm. Good evening. Uh, I would like to travel to Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, all right, excellent, thank you. Uh, oh, good evening, Mr. Luis Humberto. Are you available to participate? We're gonna wait for his response, and then we have Katia. Uh, yes, why not? <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead, Humberto, and then I will continue with Katia. So where would you like to travel to? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Paraguay. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I would like to travel to Paraguay. Perfect, exactly. All right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you for that one. What about you, uh, Nancy? Okay, I would like to travel to Japan because I like the cool culture of the country. Culture of the country. Thank you. That was actually a very good example. Thank you very much. All right. So we have been practicing with those two questions already. We have been listening to some of the participants here. All right, and now we are going to continue with the next activity here. Take a look at this one, all right? So it's going to be this, which is actually um, a dialogue that you can see here, all right? 
So it's going to be very simple. It's a, a dialogue between two guys right here. And well, let me just help you with the pronunciation first. So then you can um, practice, right? So it says, for example, here, it says, everybody, hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. Repeat, everybody. With the mic. Hello. <laughs> yes. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Thank you. All right. So and then we continue. Hello. I need to make a reservation. Repeat it. Hello. I need to make a reservation. reservation. Thank you. Sure. May I have your name, please? Sure. May sure. I have your name, please? Your name, please? Of course. I'm Gerardo Gomez. Of course. I'm Gerardo, I'm Gerardo, Gerardo, Gomez. Gerardo, Gomez. Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? Where are you going to arrive? All right, I'm going to arrive on Friday 14th. I'm going, I'm going to arrive on Friday, Friday 14th. 14th. Very good. Um, how long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? How long are you how going to stay with Mr. Gomez? Mr. Gomez? There we go. I'm going to stay until Monday. I'm going, I'm going to stay, stay, stay on the There you go. Excellent. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? Are, Are you going, going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? There you go. Excellent. So, a single room, please. A single, a single, single room, room, please. please. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. So you did a very good job on this one. Let's review some vocabulary here, all right? So let's just go for this one. For example, it says right here, um, you know, so like this one. Everybody make a reservation, put it, make a reservation. Make a reservation. All right, excellent. So it's uh, actually, as you may know it, it's, Hacer una reservación, all right? You can also that say... Reservation. That reser reservation. Reservation. Right. Reservar un cuarto. También lo podemos decir de esta forma. Book a room. Mm -hmm. Entonces, en lugar, for example, de... I want to make a reservation here. All right, so you can say, for example, this one. You will see here, okay, this one. All right, take a look. You can say, for example, this one right here, book a room. All right, so you go this one, I would like to book a room. So you can actually say that option as well. ¿Qué significa book a room, people? Reservar una habitación. Habitación, un cuarto. All right, very good. So that's just actually for you to do to know how to say it as well. All right. Then um this one, fijémonos acá en esto super importante. It says here um I'm going to arrive. I'm going to. I'm going to que está varias veces here. Going to. Going to. Going to here as well. What's the meaning of going to? ¿Qué significa going to? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Hello, hello. Tira. All right. So that would be like it go to, but it says going to. And going to significa boy a. All right. So. For example, yo voy a llegar, que es lo que dice en esta frase aquí, right? Yo voy a llegar el viernes, right? So how do you say, for example, yo voy a comer pizza? Mm -hmm. Siguiendo esta. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pizza. eat pizza. 
I'm going to eat pizza. Going to eat pizza. Very good. Excellent. Mucho eh, cuidado a la hora de pronunciar esta contracción here. Esa contraction, right? So, que no es I, sino que es am. Exactly. I'm going to arrive, for example. Repeat it. I'm going to arrive. I'm going, I'm going, to, going to arrive. Fijémonos en algo aquí súper importante. Veamos. Eh, I need a volunteer. Necesito voluntario para practicar este sonido. Who wants to be my volunteer? Solo para practicar el sonido. Volunteer, volunteer. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just to practice the sound. A ver, just one person, please. Just to practice this sound. Quiero enseñarles cómo se pronuncia eso. Quiero que me quiero ayudar. All right, Mr. Pardo. Thank you very much. All right. Eh, trabajaremos con el sonido de la M. You know, la M, si tú me puedes ver en la cámara ahorita, it works like this one. Am. Um, hay un contacto entre ambos labios. Am. Um, all right. So, si no existe ese contacto, no se puede pronunciar la letra M. Te hago un pequeño reto, Mr. Pardo. In Spanish, yes? Okay. All right, so, can you pronounce the word mama in Spanish sin topar los labios? No, no se puede. No se puede, all right. Entonces, lo mismo sal, sale cuando dices, I'm going to. Aunque se parezca y digas, I going to, mira la diferencia acá. I'm going to. I going to. Entonces, en el segundo no hay contacto. Por lo tanto, no es una M. All right. Thank you, Mr. Pardo, for helping me with that one. All right. Los demás, is it clear? Yes. So, vamos a, ver, a revisar si es cierto. Mr. Lainez, repita, please. I'm going to arrive. I'm going to arrive. I'm going to arrive. I'm going to arrive. Recuerde la articulación. Debe haber contacto entre ambos labios. I'm, I'm going to arrive. Otra vez. I'm going to arrive. Very good. Excelente. Yes, Mr. Rano. I'm going to arrive. Perfect. Very good job. Excellent. Buen provecho, Nancy. I'm going to arrive. Ooh, coquita. All right. So let's see. Let's see. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. Veamos quién más. Veamos who wanna hear. Let's see, uh, Ana Luisa. Oh, no, Ana Luisa is not here yet. Ana Elizabeth, sorry. Are you there, Ana Elizabeth? Uh -huh. Sí, teacher. Ah, I'm going to arrive. Repeat it. I'm going to arrive. Arrive. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. También otro sonido super important del inglés es la letra R. All right. So remember que nosotros... Eh, en español, espe específicamente latino, pronunciamos mucho la R, pronunciamos carro, rico, um, you know, Ramón, for example, right? Entonces, en inglés es completamente diferente. So, no es esa R, sino que es una R, right? So, entonces, muy probablemente, probably, you have heard American people speaking Spanish. Cuando ustedes escuchan a un americano hablando español, ellos tienen a pronunciar su R. Eh, como en inglés. Entonces dicen yo, querer, comer. Right? Entonces tratemos de imitar ese sonido y en lugar de decir arrive, digamos arrive. Una vez más, I'm going to arrive. Everybody? I'm going to, I'm going to arrive. 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 Very good. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Eh... I need um, one volunteer now. So that volunteer is going to be uh, Gerardo, right? And I'm going to be Jen in the conversation. Who's my first volunteer? Mm -hmm. Volunteer, volunteer. To practice the conversation here. Thank you. Veamos. Anne Elizabeth and then William Giovanni. No problem, William. So that, uh, you will be the second volunteer. Okay, Anne Elizabeth, I'm going to start. Hello, thank you for calling the hey, hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to? 
I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. All right, excellent. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? Uh, I'm going to stay until Monday. Until Monday, all right. Are you going to make a reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Ok, excelente. Thank you very much. Ahora eh, la dejo eh, Ana. Usted va a ser Jem y William va a ser Gerardo. All right. Ok. Va. All right. Okay. Empieza. Hello. Thank, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jem. How can I help? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gerard. Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay you, you till... Until. until Monday. Perdón. Until. Until Monday. Mm -hmm. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Now, uh, Anne Elizabeth, select someone and William, select someone. Okay. Hello, thank you for calling the no, Golden No, 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 sorry, sorry. You select another person. Ah. Yo elijo a Mauricio Antonio. Okay, thank you. Uh, Nancy. Nancy, all right, great. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right, excellent. So, uh, Nancy, you're going to be Jen and Mr. Rano Gerardo, all right? <laughs> okay. Go ahead, start, Nancy. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jane. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on 3.14. Friday, How long Friday. are you going? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sorry. Okay. okay. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay unit Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a dual room? A single room, please. Thank you very much. Excellent. Very good job. Good job. Good job. So, guys, I'm sorry. De verdad, discúlpeme si los interrumpo, like, en medio diálogo, pero es para hacer la observación de la pronunciación, good. right? Good sorry. Job. But thank you. Good job. Thank you. Mauricio, and thank you, Nancy. You did a good job as usual. Fantastic. All right. Mr. Rano, select someone. And, and Nancy, select someone also, please. Hello, Nancy. Uh, yes, Andre. Okay, Andre. Oops. And you, Mr. Rano, who's the next person? Luis. 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 Luis Humberto. Who? Did you say, oh, Luis Humberto. All right, Luis Humberto, are you still there? Oh, yeah. Luis Humberto. Analisa. Better. All right. No problem. Uh, uh -huh. So we have Mr. Pardo and Ana Luisa. Hello, Ana Luisa. Hello. Oops. There you go. Excellent. 
All right, uh, Ana Luisa, you're going to be Jen, and Mr. Pardo is going, excuse me, Mr. Pardo, you're going to be Jen, and Ana Luisa is going to be Gerardo, all right? Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead, please. Hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen, how can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I am Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. Where are you going to arrive? I come to arrive uh, on Friday, Friday, uh, 14. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay on the Monday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? A single room, please. Thank you very right. much. I really appreciate it. All right. So, Mr. Pardo, good job. Nice pronunciation. Ana Luisa, also very good job. All right. So, thank you. You did it wonderfully. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, let's see here. Okay. And now, let's see. La última pareja antes de avanzar a la siguiente um, activity, right? So, Ana Luisa, select someone. Mr. Pardo, select someone. Please. Okay. Um... Mm, a María María, ya habrá llegado María Ahí está de oyente, creo Ahí está de oyente. Eso, exo pardo Mr. Pardo, very good job <risa> right. As, Y Ana Luisa Sonia Sonia, es. Sonia, all right Y Abner, crossing the fingers Abner, que no lo seleccione All right, so Let's see, very good Let's continue. Uh -huh. Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Hello. Good evening. All right. Uh, so let's see. Sonia, you're going to be Jen. And uh, Irma, you're going to be uh, Gerardo. All right? Okay. All right. Please go ahead. Hello. Thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Jen. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm, Ger I'm Gerardo Gomez. Thank you, Mr. Gomez. When are you going to arrive? Uh, I'm, go I'm going to arrive on Friday. Fourteen. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Gomez? I'm going to stay until Monday. Until. Until. Until Monday. Until Monday. Mm -hmm. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? All right. Uh -huh. A single room, please. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, right? So that was actually a very good job, all right, as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. So now that we have practiced here the conversation, let's just continue with the, um, um, the activity here. So let's see here. Take a look. Mr. Rano, you have a question? Yes, teacher. Tell me. Okay, okay. okay. Um, of course. I am or of course am, Gerardo. Of course am. Usted lo puede separar ah, okay. eh, porque ahí está contactado el I am. All right? So, pero si usted okay. se siente más cómodo separándolo, usted puede decir, of course, I am Gerardo Gómez. It's the same. Okay, so thank you. All right, no problem. Let's see this one here. Any other question? No questions? Okay. Cool. Excellent. So we have activity number three and activity number four. All right. So let's at this one here. All right. It says, fill the form with the information from the conversation. Compare answers with the partner. All right. Excellent. So uh, uh -huh, everybody who can tell me what was the agent's name? Mm -hmm. What was the agent's name? Uh-huh. 
What was the agent's name? ¿Quién era la gente? Jen. Jen, very good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Who was the guest? El, el huésped. Mm -hmm. Gerardo, el apellido, se me olvidó. Gómez. 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 All right. All right. En, cuando era el check-in, vamos a ver, ¿te recuerdas que era check-in? Uh -huh. Viernes 14. ¿Ese día iba a llegar o se iba a ir? Iba a llegar. All right. Friday 14th. Y se iba hasta el... Lunes. Monday. Monday. Next Monday, right? Monday. All right. Excellent. So, and on this one right here, he was like for a single room or a double room? Single, single room. room. Very good. Excellent. So like that one. Thank you. Thank you for paying attention to this one. Very easy activity, right? So now let's see this one. It's called on the activity number four. It says about making a hotel reservation, all right? So uh, in this one, we are going to learn three words here when we, ask to, when we want to request for something here. The first one will be would like to. Repeat, would like to. Would like to. There you go. Would Excellent. like to. Thank you. All right. So, would like to es para pedir algo de una manera bastante formal. All right. Como decir, me gustaría. All right. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entonces entre need y want? Que este puede, dependiendo del tono de voz que se use, sonar un poco a una orden. Necesito esto o necesito un cuarto, for example. All right. O quiero esto o quiero un cuarto, por favor. All right. Entonces, so, dependiendo de la intonación, suena un poquito a una orden. No es que esté malo, right? Simplemente saber pronunciar esto here. O nos vamos con lo más educado posible. All right. ¿Qué sería I would like to? Repeat. I would like to. I would like to. I would, I would like to. All right. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. So, like, for example, dijimos que significa would like to. Me gustaría. Me gustaría. Exactly. Right. In a, let's say this one right here. How do you say, for example, me gustaría reservar un cuarto, people? I would like to book um, a room. I would like to book a room. Exactly, right? And how do you say, for example, eh, me gustaría ordenar una Coca-Cola? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's because it's hot right now it's very hot yes uh -huh. how do you say me gustaría ordenar una coca cola el me gustaría mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería? Como I, I want to cook I like to ordenar is order right uh -huh. so, Pero, sería como yo quiero una coca cola no Ese sería, I want to. I want, sorry, I want a Coca-Cola. I would like to order. I would like to. Ajá. Order Coca-Cola. I would like to order a Coca-Cola. There you go, like this one, all right? So, like this. Eh, si tú me dices, por ejemplo, Mr. Pardo me decía, I want to, right? Ese sería, yo quiero una Coca-Cola. I want a Coca-Cola. Which is different, right? All right. O podemos decir, for example, yo ahorita, I need a Coca-Cola, people. All right. So, I need a Coca-Cola. Es decir, necesito una Coca-Cola. All right. It's this one. All right. Entonces, de las tres, ¿cuál sería la más indicada para poder hacer una reservación? I would like. I would like to, porque sería como la más... Eh, Formal, digamos así, the, the, the formal one, all right, to request for something, all right. Basado en el ejemplo anterior, en la conversación anterior, cuando hicimos esta conversation here, teníamos, for example, it says right here, um, este era nada más utilizaba here, no utilizaba ninguna de estos porque, si ustedes se fijan, acá en esa conversation, el cliente nunca 
pidió exactamente algo específico, sino que simplemente iba respondiendo preguntas que la gente le estaba haciendo. All right, so aquí lo que vamos a hacer nosotros es solicitar un cuarto. All right, so vamos a hacer esa, ese trabajo en este momento. All right, so for example, how do, ya dijimos lo primero. ¿Cómo diríamos me gustaría reservar un cuarto? I would like a reservation. Mm, I would like make a reservation. Podría ser ese que acaba de decir Ana. I would like uh, to make a reservation. O podemos decir I would like to book a room. Cualquiera de las dos está perfect for this specific situation. All right. Very good. Excellent. So, and then we, how do you say, for example, me gustaría llegar el... 14 de junio, for example. How do you say that? I would like to arrive. Um... Recuerden, para la fecha usamos la preposición on. Mm -hmm. Ok. On. I could like. On. I like to on. 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 In, how do you say me gustaría un single room me gustaría tener un single room uh -huh. I would like to have a single room there you go I would like to have a single room very good job excellent all right So, those are the things that we are going to check. Ahora, ¿qué es exactamente lo que vamos a trabajar en este momentito? Vamos a trabajar en un pequeño diálogo que ustedes van a crear, donde uno va a ser el agente y el otro va a ser eh, el cliente o el invitado, right? El huésped. Y van a hacerse las preguntas parecidas a las que estaban acá. You know, hello, thank you for calling eh, the Golden Star Hotel. Le pueden cambiar el nombre, right? This is Jen. Esto puede ser una, una muy buena frase. All right, so veamos, vamos a borrar estas letras. All right. Esta puede ser una muy buena frase para eh, empezar. Hello, da, 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 da. Exactamente this one. Y ahí solo cambiamos ya el nombre de Jen por el de ustedes, ¿verdad? Podemos decir ahí, por ejemplo, hello, thank you for calling the Golden Star Hotel. This is Anna, this is Nancy, this is William, this is Abner, etc. All right. How can I help you? Eh, bye. Aquí usamos I need to make a reservation. Podemos cambiarlo por I would like to make a reservation or I want to make a reservation. Y empezamos, sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Gerardo Gómez. Thank you, bla, bla, bla. Y aquí empezamos con esta information. All right, so, y empezamos a dar nuestra información personal, etc. Right, creando usted su propio diálogo. Is that clear, people? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Va, necesito, antes de hacer los breakout rooms, people, necesito, por favorcito, que eh, aquí en, el, en el Zoom me levante la mano quienes pueden participar, you know, para que si no los vayan a quedar emparejados con alguien que no pueda por el momento participar. Los que puedan participar, por favor, raise your hand. Ok. Ahí sí dejen, así dejen, así dejen, yo, la, yo me encargo después de arreglar eso. All right. There you go. Bye. Vamos con los breakout rooms, entonces. Manually, create. Sign. Perfect. Ya van los primeros dos ahí. Okay, so let's see. Stay there, please, like that. One second. Okay, so let's see. Mr. Rano. Some okay. Mm -hmm. 
One second, please. Y veamos, no sería one, two, four, six, eight. Perfect, this one. Va, good. Los que me levantaron la mano, ya los voy a... Váyanse al cuarto donde los he, he, he ayudado ahí. All right. Los demás, los oyentes, los vamos a ir agregando así en los, en los demás rooms para que vayan en calidad de oyente, ¿ok? Perfect. Los que están en calidad de oyente, los acabo de asignar a uno de los rooms. Si ustedes pueden, por favor, ingresen para que puedan también participar como oyentes en esos breakout rooms. All right. So let's continue. Good morning. Por ejemplo, good morning. Thank you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y ahí le vamos o sea, cambiando un poquito. Perfecto. Thank you for calling. Y vamos a cambiar el nombre del hotel. ¿Cómo le ponemos, Sandra? Mm, no sé, cualquiera. Puede ser, no sé, eh, hoteles wow. Ochoa. Ok, <ríe> ok. Ochoa. Ochoa Hotel. Ochoa Hotels. Les, les doy una recommendation, right? Para el saludo inicial. Escuché que uh -huh. hay que ponerle como good morning o algo por el uh -huh. estilo. Sí, Pero recordemos no que puede. como esto es una llamada, entonces a veces los call centers no coinciden donde el cliente está, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. eso okay. para, para evitar esos, esos malentendidos, por ejemplo, ya es de tarde, que es de noche, etc. Simplemente nos podemos quedar con un hello o simplemente thank you for calling y el nombre del hotel. Ok, gracias. All right. Ok, entonces, hello. Eh, y ahí, teacher, eh, por ejemplo, cuando dice, this is James, podría, por ejemplo, decir, I'm Nancy. I'm Nancy. Yes. No? yes, yes, yes. Es otra forma de decir, okay. yo soy fulanito o fulanita. Correct. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ok. I'm Nancy. <coughs> If you have questions, yes. call me. I'll be back, all right? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Andre. Eh, eh, how can I help you? Siempre lo dejaríamos así, ¿verdad? Sí. O oh, me hay help. No, no, ¿verdad? Cualquiera Porque de los dos está bien. Podrías how, ayudar. How can I or how may I help you? Las dos ah. están bien. How may I help you? Okay. 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 Eh, no, en este caso, como es, digamos, una llamada, más o menos, all right, entonces, eh, les comentaba a otros de sus compañeros que normally los call centers no están en el mismo lugar de donde está el cliente, right, entonces, puede que ya sea de día, aquí de noche, o viceversa, entonces, para evitar ese, ese como inconveniente, digamos así, nos podemos quedar simplemente con el hello, o sin el hello tampoco, y decir simplemente, thank you for calling, y el nombre del hotel. Por ejemplo, thank you for calling Sheraton Hotel, thank you for calling um, Las Palmeras Hotel, whatever, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, cuánto oyente en este grupo. Sonia, are you oyente, Sonia? Yes, teacher. 
Hello. Está de oyente usted, Sonia. Hello, teacher. Está de oyente nada más. Sí, sí, teacher. Aún no llego a casa. Va, perfecto, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I need to make. Ah, I would like, perdón. I would like to make a reservation. Te puedo preguntar. Eh... Vale, porque aquí estamos, vale, al principio, vale. Cuando preguntas, hi, thanks, uh, thanks for calling Polar no, Beer Hotel. Calling Polar Beer Hotel. Yeah. Long, how can I help you? Y te uh, respondo, I, uh, hello, I need to make a reserve, uh, perdón. Reservation. Me reservation. Pero le pusimos el otro, teacher. Hello, I need to book a room. De ahí me responde, sure, my I have, my I yeah. have your nice please. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Y ahí me pongo, sí. oh, of course, I am William Laines. Eh, pone vos, thank you, Mr. Laines, where you are, will it arrive? Y ahí te respondo, I'm going to arrive on Friday. Friday, Friday. The Friday, perdón, Friday, the 14th. 14th. Así, ¿verdad, teacher? 14th. The 14th. 14th. The 14th. 14th. Uh -huh. you... Y ahí. Eh... Pero, ¿qué más le agregamos, Mauricio? Ya tenemos hasta lo que vamos a la fecha que voy a llegar. Sí, ahí qué más podrías preguntar. ¿Cuántos días? ¿Está en cuántos días te quedarás y cuándo será tu salida? Why, why, oops, ¿qué es, teacher? Why, Excuse me? Why, oops. Cuando le pregunta, how old are you going to stay? Why, oops. Ah, no, ese se pronuncia with us. Ah, with, with us. Exacto. Que... Con nosotros. ¿Qué es? Con nosotros, ah. ¿Mm? Para preguntar... ¿Cuánto tiempo estará con tiempo? nosotros? Entonces? Ah, ok. Correct. Okay. What time? How long are you going to stay? Como dice ese teacher? Why? Why? You? With, 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 with us. With us. Mm -hmm. With right. us. Oh. Para decir una semana, teacher. One week. One week. Correct. One week. One week, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Con ese week. One week. One, no, one week. Week es de week, semana. Es verdad. Week. Okay. W, E, K. W, E, E, K. Yes. Sí, sí. One week. Ok. Una semana. Y de ahí. One week. ¿Cómo podríamos decir, teacher? Eh, 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 ok, está lista su reservación. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya está lista, ¿verdad? Su reservación. You can say your uh, reservation, it's ready. Uh -huh. Or your room is being booked, puede ser la otra. Ya se lo puse. Okay, your is her. Así sería, teacher. Your book, okay, your, your reserve, your, your book, book sí. 
Book room. Ah, ok. Your book, perdón, ahí me equivoqué yo. ¿Ves? Sería tu, tu cuarto, your room, no your book. A ver. A ver. Yes. Es supuesto que. I would desperate. like to have single room. All right, so it's like this one, guys. Así. Perdón, perdón. Your room your is room. now book. Your room is no book. Así, book. Papá. Your room is not book. Your room is now book. Now book. Now book. Okay. Is now book. Creo que así estaría bien entonces. Ahorita te lo mando, Ruan. Your room is now book. Your room is now book. Yeah. May, ahorita te la mando. Questions, questions? No question, teacher. Creo que ahorita lo mandar ahí al, al chat para ver si hay alguna corrección, teacher. Vamos, sí. Dele, dele, dele. No sé si la logra ver, teacher. Ahorita voy, dele. Espérame que se, eh, like, se congeló esto. One second. Mm. No ha cargado aún. Eh, me, me la mandó. Eh, al, chat, al chat, al chat, dicho. Mm. De aquí. Mm, bueno, sí, no aparece. I don't see. One more time. Please. No le aparece. No. Voy a mandar la WhatsApp entonces. ¿Al chat de Zoom no se puede? ¿Cómo no? Ahí la mandé. Ah, espérame. Sorry. No le voy a enviar, va. No sé. Ah, ok. Good. <ríe> a ver, vamos a ver. Let me check it out. No estaba así. Ay, no le cambié. I need to book a room, era. Mm -hmm. En vez de hi, hello. Thank you for calling the Polar Beer Hotel. How can I help you? I need to make a reservation. Puede ser esa, no problem. Okay. All right. Sure. May I have your name, please? Uh, of course. I'm William Laines. Thank you, Mr. Laines. Where, when you are Willie Trap? Mm -mm. Es está ahí eh, con la estructura equivocada. Sería la de donde le dice cuándo vas a llegar. When. Si ustedes se fijan en el diálogo dice Are you going to arrive? Going to arrive. Para primera observación. All right. Eh, I'm going to arrive on Friday the 13th. All right. How long are you going to stay with us? A week. Okay. Your room is now booked. Acuérdense que el book es ese último que usted ya pone ahí. Yo se lo mandé con ED al final. ED, book. ¿verdad? Correcto. Sí. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, going to arrive. Ah, okay. I see. There you go. Excellent. Ahorita lo arreglo, teacher. No worry. Oops. 
That's it, this one. En lo que es después de thank you, Mr. Laine, ¿verdad? Teacher, era lo que me puso, ¿verdad? Correct. Ok. There you go, excellent. Eh, de, me dijo que era el final, ¿verdad, teacher book? Correct. Ok, aquí lo tengo ya. Let me know when you can. All right, so let's see here. One weekend, eh, verdad, también. Ese podría ser un fin de semana. Ah, ok. Va. Voy a ir con otros, otro grupo para ver cómo van, all right? Cualquier cosa me avisa. Okay, yes. Gracias. No problem. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. Ya lo tenés ahí, Mauricio. ¿Cómo es? How long? How long? Are you going? Hello. ¿Tienen alguna duda para poderles ayudar? Ahí está. Estamos haciendo la conversación, teacher, aquí en el chat. Del... All right. Eh, así, no, no lo lea. Hay muchos errores. <risa> don't worry, don't worry. <risa> Está bien así, Irma. Ahorita aquí está el teacher, no puede, no puede ayudar. Está bien así, en, oh. Está en pantalla, es que no, no veo ahorita. Está en el chat. All right, sorry. Veamos. Ah, la podría reenviar, please. Como cuando acabo de entrar, no, no. O, o esa frase. For how many days will you stay in a hotel? Ajá. Uh -huh. right. For how many days will you stay at our hotel? Yes, you can have it like that. No problem. Very good. Se puede poner así. Yes, it's another way to say. Porque nosotros lo hemos hecho así. Eh, si quiere, eh, le vamos a hacerlo. Análisis. Bueno, por ejemplo, empezando. Ah, sí, me voy a Por lo general. Ah, sí. <laughs> okay. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Thank you, you for calling the Passive Hotel. Can, can you help? ¿Cómo es que me parece que me está Can you help you? Hello, I could like a boom room. Así dijo, ¿verdad, teacher? A book room. I would like to book a room. Ajá. I así like se puede, en, en lugar de reservación. Oh, ah, Ajá, ah, exactly. En lugar de decir, I would like to make a reservation, decimos, I would like to book a room. Me gustaría rentar okay. un cuarto. Ah, pues sí. I would like a book a room. They say, of course, yes, and whose name is the room, book room, book room, book room, book a room. Yes, to name Ana Espinosa. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Mr. Spinoza. When are, when are you going to arrive? Hello, hello, Irma. Eh, cuidado ahí con el mister, porque está hablando con la señorita Espinosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí sería Miss. Miss. Ajá. Ok. ¿Y cómo, cómo se escribe, teacher? Miss, M que dice la abreviación M mayúscula, S minúscula y el punto. Ah, ok. Ah, solo sí. Ah, ah. Ok, ahí nos habíamos confundido. Ok, entonces contesto yo. I go to a room on next Saturday. Excuse me, ¿cómo fue? I go to a room on arrive, next Saturday. Arrive, perdón. Arrive. On next Saturday. Next Saturday. I'm going to arrive next Saturday. En ese caso, como usted nos está dando una fecha específica, uh -huh. entonces podemos omitir el on y simplemente nos quedamos con I will arrive next Saturday. Ah, ok. I will arrive next Saturday. Uh -huh. Y de ahí la otra So you have how for how many days? I like to say how for how many days will you stay at our hotel? Ah, uh, entonces, Andre, yo I going to stay for una semana, teacher. I one. Se me olvida. Weekend. Fin de semana. Ajá, no. Sería. I going to stay one week. I'm going to stay Así. for one Nada. week. Ah, ok. Ah, pues sí. I going to stay one week. Ahorita lo escribo. Prácticamente nos vamos guiando en el guión, teacher, que se nos sabe. Pero... Yes, yes, yes. Vaya, que sería una semana. Y de ahí sí me... Tiene que ser eso, teacher, de que si quiero una habitación doble o... Podría ser, just to check. All right. O una reservación con vista a la playa. Ajá. Puede ser un Ocean View sería ahí. Como de Ocean, Ocean View. Ok. Ocean View. Ocean View. Así. Ah, ah, Ocean, okay. view. Ocean View Room, for example. Ok. Entonces sería, are you going to make the reservation? Uh -huh. uh, okay. Ocean. Ocean View. Correct. O Ocean View. So, book a room. Excelente. Bueno, vamos a regresar entonces a la, a la sesión principal, ¿verdad? Para que empezamos okay. a participar, que son voluntarias, dicen. All right, so. No, para mí le he tomado. All right, excelente. So, vamos, pues nos vemos allá. I'll see you there. Excellent, 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 excellent. Welcome back, everybody here. Do we have some volunteers to practice the dialogue? Yes or no? <laughs> All right. Some people say yes, some people say no. What about the rest? Uh-huh. I want to hear those dialogues, people. What are the dialogues? Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. So, do we have a volunteer? Volunteer, 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 volunteer. Mm -hmm. Mr. Laines, hello. Excellent. So, all right. We are so happy because you actually decided to be our first volunteer. And tell me, who are you working with? Mauricio. Mauricio, and Mauricio is like, oh my God. All right, so let's see. All right. 
Ajá, Mauricio, Mauricio. Hello, teacher. Ok, go ahead. Ok. Hi. Thank you for calling Polar Beer Hotel. How can I help you? Hello, I need to make a reservation. Sure. My hat, your name, please. Of course, I am William Laines. Thank you, Mr. Laines. Where are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Friday the 14th. How long are you going to stay with you? A week. Okay, your room is not good. Thanks, all. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. You did it. Good, 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 good. I like it. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Y muy buen trabajo aplicando las observations que hicimos en el room. All right. So very good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks. What about Thanks. the Thanks. rest? Uh -huh. Anybody else? Volunteer, 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 volunteer. Uh -huh. Excellent, Mr. Pardo and Nancy. All right. I really want to hear you guys. All right. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Hello. Thank you for calling the Ochoa Hotel. I'm Nancy. How can I help you? Hello. I would like to make a reservation. Mm -hmm. Can I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Andre Pardo. Thank you, Mr. Pardo. When are you would like to arrive? I would like to arrive on Tuesday soon. Mr. Pardo, how long would you like to stay with us? I would like to stay with you a week. When would you like to check out? Um, I would like to get it to check out on eight, uh, 8 June. How Please. would you like the room? Uh, I would like the best room, if a possible, a penthouse, please. Of course. Thank you for preferring us. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That was good. Good, 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 good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, Nancy, good job on that one. Good creativity with the, with the dialogue. Right, eh, tomaron como base el mismo, pero fueron cambiando cert ciertas frases. All right, así que yes, you were doing good. All right, congratulations, thank you. What about the rest? The rest, the rest, the rest. All right, anybody else here? Mm -hmm. Voluntir, voluntir. Ah, ew, están tímidos, so shy. All right, so let's see, vamos. Who? Oh, Anna Elizabeth. No problem. Thank you, Anna Elizabeth, for being the volunteer. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. okay. Ah, con Carla. Huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. 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 Go ahead, please. Hello. Thank you for calling the Princess Hotel. This is Milena. How may I help you? Hello. I would like to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Ana Melendez. Thank you, Miss Melendez. When are you need the reservation? I would like to book Monday on Monday 16. How long are you going to stay with us, Miss Melendez? I'm going to stay until Friday. And would you like to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A double room, please. Oh, that's it. All right, excellent. All right, so thank you. All right, that was actually very good. You were doing a very good job as well. Ustedes se tomaron como base exactly el diálogo, solo fueron sustituyendo información, pero 
you understood exactly. Entendieron cómo iba el process. Is it actually that's good? Now, um, just be careful, Anna, with the pronunciation of double, right? Double, double. Double. There you go. Exactly, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bien. Very good. Thank you. We're going to stop right here with this activity. Y vamos a trabajar en otra activity that we have right here. So let's take a look to this one here. All right, all right, all right. It's this one, this one, this one, this one you have right here. One sec. Okay, excellent. Oops. There you go. Tenemos esta here, people. Esta, eh, si ustedes pueden tomar el screenshot. All right. Si no, se lo voy a enviar ahorita al grupo de WhatsApp. All right. So, let's hit this one. There you go. Veamos. One second. All right. So let's see here. Teacher va a pasar lista. Yes, my friend. The último para que todos estén hasta el final. All right. So let's see. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. One second. Give me one quick second. Voy a start sharing here para poderle pasar la. Oops. There you go. So let's see. Okay. Now I can do it. So it says this one right here. Okay. What are we going to do? It's very simple here. All right. I'm going to send this to the WhatsApp group right now. So let me see where are you? Here you are. Excellent. It's in the WhatsApp group. Please confirm if you can see it there. Can you see it? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Excellent. Y les, I'm going to send a surprise on also. Usted va a decir, ¿qué más? ¿Qué vamos a hacer con eso? Well, you will see it right there. One quick second, please. And there you go, excellent. So you guys in a moment, I just send it right now, you are going to receive an audio, all right? So you're going to listen to the audio and you're going to uh, answer the questions based on the um, um, information that you receive from the audio. Uh, we are going to work in the rooms again, para que like sea más fácil poder trabajar, the same person you were working with, all right, you went that like, you know, the room and room, verificando que estén con el audio. Por eso le he mandado en WhatsApp para que no haya ningún problem con eh, Zoom. All right, preguntas, questions, antes de que nos vayamos de nuevo a los rooms. Ya cayó el audio, ahí está ya. All right, excellent. Thank you. Entonces hay que escuchar ese audio and answer the questions there. All right, luego vamos a comparar las respuestas. Volvamos entonces a los rooms, people, como estábamos. Go ahead. Maria. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. All right. ¿Cómo va? ¿Ya puede participar? Sí, ahorita sí, teacher. Va, good, excellent. Entonces lo voy a... Mr. Pardo, hello. Eso fue, good. Vamos a hacer un room para usted. ¿Con quién está aquí? Eh, Erling, lo vi por ahí ya. Ready. ¿Se puede participar ya o todavía no? Ahorita, teacher, solo estoy encendiendo la computadora porque acabo de llegar a la casa y no tengo ya carga en el teléfono. Solo denme unos dos, tres minutos solo en lo right. Entonces, lo voy, lo voy a dar a María al, a un room y ahí practican ustedes dos. All right? Ok, ok. Va. Veamos.
Maria, here it is. Maria, usted al 4 y Erling al 3. Ahí están ya en sus rooms. Whenever you're ready. Brother getting into town. Okay. At eight o'clock in the mm -hmm. evening. Are you going to? Me parece que dice. Eh... Thursday a las 8 de la noche. Es que no, no se escucha bien. No es que Espera, se para para decir, ok. No, no, no. Ok, ok, dale. Dice que Thursday, pero no entendí qué horas. Yo creo que, que dice, hey, espera, voy otra vez. Hey, Heather, when is your brother getting into town? On Thursday at eight o'clock in the evening. Eight o'clock clock in the evening. Dice. A las ocho uh -huh. de la noche. Entonces, uh -huh. entonces es eh, opción. La D. La última. La última. Ah. La D. Uh -huh. Sí. Es la D. Pero no voy a ir anotando por aquí. Ok, perfecto. Es la D. Me parece bien que notes porque no tengo con qué anotar. Ok, de acuerdo. Vaya, vamos con la segunda. Nos va a preguntar Where is he flying from? ¿Desde dónde está volando? Vamos a, a seguir con el audio. Are you going to do anything together that night? No, I think he'll be too tired and will probably just want to go to bed early. That's true. It's a long flight from Melbourne. I am so looking forward to having him here. How long is he going to stay? Only till Monday, then he goes to Boston to see our parents. Great. So what about Friday? What are you going to do? Do you have any special plans? You bet. He can relax in the apartment on Friday morning. And then in the afternoon, we are going to the beach with some of my friends. No, yo creo que ya nos pasamos, no logro entender. Yo tampoco entendí nada. Me quiere repetirlo. Sí. No, I think he'll be too tired and will probably... Hey, Heather, when is your brother getting into town? On Thursday at 8 o'clock in the evening. Are you going to do anything together that night? No, I think he'll be too tired and will probably just want to go to bed early. That's true. It's a long flight from Melbourne. I am so looking forward to here. How long? Did you get Melbourne? Melbourne. Oh, okay. Melbourne. Uh -huh. Good job, van bastante bien. ¿Lo estás escuchando, teacher? Yes. Aquí estamos tratando de entender. Está costando porque está un poquito más rápido. Dale, continuamos. Ok, vale. la, bueno, la tercera pregunta sería What are they going to do on Thursday evening? evening. Ahí nos confirma, ahí nos confirma. Que sí llegó el jueves a las 8. Exacto. Ahí nos está confirmando ya. Uh -huh. Ajá. Vale, vamos Perfecto. a ver. Perfecto. Continúa. Hello. Is the silence? Hi. Hello, teacher. Well, long again. What happens? Es que no dividimos las preguntas. Ah, oh, yeah. You're very smart. <laughs> right? So, okay. If you have questions, just let me know. Okay? I can uh, come back here and, and help you. All right? Okay. Que es solo una opción eh, solo una opción de las respuestas 
That is correct. Yo, don't worry, don't worry. We just want to go to bed early. That's true. It's a long flight from Melbourne. I am so looking forward to having him here. Bill Mormon. Bill Mormon dice, ¿verdad? Yeah. Mel, Bill Mormon. Bill. Bill Mormon. ¿Qué es Bill Mormon? Bermuda, ¿verdad? No. Londres, París, México. Bill Mormon. Born in. ¿Cuál están haciendo? Number two. Ahí está, my friend, la última option. Sí. Melbourne. Es, es una ciudad de, eh, de Australia. Ah, ok. Ah, antes, cuando empezaron a salvar. Ustedes siempre sería la cuatro, Mauricio. Yeah. Going to stay. Only till Monday, then he goes to Boston to see our parents. Great. So what about Friday? When are you going to pray? What are you going to do? Do you have any special plans? You bet. He can relax in the apartment on Friday morning, and then in the afternoon, we are going to the beach with some of my friends to have a picnic. Good to oh, the weather is sunny. Got to. Me perdí, Mauricio. Uh, one more time. Yeah. Okay. Then he goes to Boston to see our parents. Great. So, what about Friday? What are you going to do? Do you have any special plans? You bet. He can relax in the apartment on Friday morning, and then in the afternoon, we are going to the beach with some of my friends to have a picnic. I hope the weather is not ah, good you. to my friend. Uh uh, they said Thursday. ¿Qué es el Thursday? Jueves en Thursday. Okay. Where are they going to Thursday evening? Mm -hmm. el Thursday, entonces el Thursday y dice que se van a quedar en casa ah. y que lo que van a hacer, todo eso que van a hacer es el Friday ah, okay. Stay on home. Don't worry, if you need help let me know so I can come here, alright okay. okay All right. We are going to the beach with some of my friends from the I hope the weather is sunny for you. So do I. And then, in the evening? I'm going to take him to Domingo's, that Mexican restaurant on 7th Avenue. Do you know it? Yeah, but I thought it was Seven very new to book a table there. Not if you know one of the waiters it isn't. Then, on Saturday morning, we are going to go to the Metropolitan Museum. They've got an I'm, I'm museum museum the museum. interested in. And then, we are having lunch in Central Park before doing a bit of shopping. It seems strange to come all the way back from Australia to do some shopping. Yes, sir. Thursday at 8 o'clock in the evening. Let me see. La 7 y la 8 faltaría. La 7. Creo que es la primera. No sé. No, de la 7 es el que dicen en el museo. The evening. Are you going to do anything together that night? No, I think he'll be too tired and will probably just want to go to bed early. That's true. It's a long flight from Melbourne. I am so looking forward to having him here. How long is he going to stay? Only till Monday. Then he goes to Boston to see our parents. Great. So what about Friday? What are you going to do? Do you have any special plans? You bet. He can relax in the apartment on Friday. 
Yo no entendí. Wake up, wake up. Ya no, me estaba durmiendo, no se siente. I'm going to take him to Domingo's, that Mexican restaurant on 7th Avenue. Do you know it? Yeah, but I thought it was very oh, difficult say. to book a table there. Not if you know one of the waiters, it isn't. Then, on Saturday morning, we are going to go to the Metropolitan Museum. El museo, la siete. We are having lunch in Central Park before doing a bit of shopping. It seems strange to come all the way back from Australia to do some shopping. Yes, I know. But there are some things he wants to buy. I'm meeting you guys on Saturday evening at 8 o'clock, right? Have a picnic. I hope the weather is sunny for you. So do I. And then, in the evening? I'm going to take him to Domingo's, that Mexican restaurant on 7th Avenue. Do you know it? Yeah, but I thought it was very... <sighs> Yeah, but I thought it was very difficult to book a table there. Not if you know one of the waiters it isn't. Then, on Saturday morning, we are going to go to the Metropolitan Museum. They've got an exhibition I know Terry will be really interested in. And then, we are having lunch in Central Park before doing a bit of shopping. It seems strange to come all the way back from Australia to do some shopping. Yes, I know. But there are some things he wants to buy. I'm meeting you guys on Saturday evening at eight o'clock, right? Oh yes, of course. The part. Oh yes, of course. The party is at Claire's house. Come round here just before eight, and we can take a cab over to Claire's together. The party. The party. My brother, no, it's okay, the party. Sunday will be his last day. Uh -huh. We are driving up to the lakes first thing, and we are fishing all day on Sunday. It will be just like when we were young. When we come back to the city. I have one extra surprise for him before he leaves the next day. Oh, tell me what it is. Okay, but promise not to say anything to him. We're going to see a basketball game. It was so difficult to find tickets, but I got them. It's going to be a great weekend. Un basketball that sounds game. wonderful. No, it's... Ya lo escucharon bien. Ya no oigo. Ella tiene mucho problema. Hey, Heather, when is your brother yeah. getting into town? On Thursday, at 8 o'clock in the evening. It's a basketball match. Are you match. going to do anything together sí. that night? No, a I think he'll be too tired match. and will probably just want to go to bed early. That's true. It's a long flight from Melbourne. I am so looking forward to having him here. How long is he going to stay? Only till Monday. Then he goes to Boston to see our parents. Great. So what about Friday? What are you going to do? Do you have any special plans? You bet. He can relax in the apartment on Friday morning. And then in the afternoon, we are going to the beach with some of my friends to have a picnic. I hope the weather is sunny for you. So do I. And then in the evening? I'm going to take him to Domingo's, that Mexican restaurant on 7th Avenue. Do you know it? Yeah, yeah, but I thought it was very difficult to book a table there. Not if you know one of the waiters it isn't. Then, on Saturday morning, we are going to go to the Metropolitan Museum. They've got an exhibition I know Terry will be really interested in. And then, we are having lunch in Central Park before doing a bit of show. The museum. They've got an exhibition I know Terry will be really interested in. And then we are having lunch in Central Park before doing a bit of shopping. Mm -hmm. It seems Central Park, dice, yeah. verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay, sería Central Park. No tiene el hermano. Central Park, vaya. Y la última sería What surprise does Heather have for her brother? Uh -huh. ¿Qué sorpresa Hider tiene para su hermano? Vale, vamos a ver. Vamos a continuar. Yo escuché algo de básquetbol al final, pero bueno, ya vamos a escuchar. Seems strange to come all the That's way good, back eh? from Australia to do some shopping. Yes, I know, but there are some things he wants to buy. I'm meeting you guys on Saturday evening at 8 o'clock, right? Oh, yes, of course. The party is at Claire's house. 
Come round here just before eight, and we can take a cab over to Claire's together. All right. My brother's leaving early on Monday, so Sunday will be his last day with me. We are driving up to the lakes first thing, and we are fishing all day on Sunday. It will be just like when we were young. When we come back to the city, I have one extra surprise for him before he leaves the next day. Oh, tell me what it is. Okay, but promise not to say anything to him. We're going to see a basketball game. It was so difficult to find tickets, but I got them. It's going to be a great weekend. That sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. Sí, basketball. Uh, basketball. Lo va a llevar a uh, uh, un partido de basketball. A un partido de basketball. Sí. Okay. Y terminamos. Okay. Thank si you. quieres. Hola. Ajá. Uh -huh, very good job. That, you did a good job. Vamos a regresar ahorita a los a la main session, so we can continue, right? Mm, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, very good, excellent. So now that me and more people is here, so we are going to have eight volunteers, one per question, uno per pregunta para que me ayuden a responder. All right, so volunteer for question number one. Question number one, question number one, volunteers. Thank you, Mr. Pardo. So tell me, what time does uh, Heather brothers, Heather's brother arrive in town? 8 p.m. Thursday. 8 p.m. on Thursday. This one right here. Yes or no, people? Yes. 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 That is correct. Very good job, Mr. Pardo. What about number two? Volunteer for number two? Where is he fleeing from? Flying from. Flying from. Thank Bel you. Belmore. Melbourne. All right. So, very good. Yes or no, people? Yes, yes. Thank you. What about number three? Number three, what is it? Mm -hmm. Number three, number three. Want to visit friends? All right. It says, what are they going to do on Thursday evening to visit friends? Yes or no, people? Yes. Yes. Visit friends. Todo el mundo dice visit friends. Yes Estoy or no? At... Huh? Me stay at home? Yes, stay at, stay at home. No dice específicamente, mm -hmm. sorry, stay at home, pero mm -hmm. dice que quedarse con sus papás. Entonces eso implica stay at home. All right, yes. so yes. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. What about number four? How long is Terry going to stay with her? Until Monday. Until Monday. Very good. All right. What are the plans for Friday afternoon? Lunch at restaurant. Lunch at restaurant? Beach. Picnic, Picnic at the beach. beach. Picnic at the beach. Picnic at the beach. Exactly. Yes. Picnic at the beach. There you go. All right. And, and where is the Mexican restaurant at? 17th Avenue. 7th Avenue. Híjole, tenemos dos versiones ahí. So, teacher, ahí se escribe. Este, 7 o 17. 17. Los otros 7. 7. 7 contra el mundo. All right. So, seven. What, what do you think? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué será que todos escucharon 17? All right. So, pues, pues, Estamos equivocados, pero igual se ven. Se ven. Se ven contra el mundo. Se ven contra el mundo, exactly. All right. 
So, no problem. Vamos a ver ahorita. Aquí vemos, vamos a salir de dudas. Ok. So, veamos. Here it is. All right. For you. So do I. And then, in the evening? I'm going to take him to Domingo's, that Mexican restaurant on 7th Avenue. Do you know it? Yeah. Mr. Pardo and Nancy, that is correct. Ustedes Thank you. <laughs> all right, so, the Seventh Avenue, all right? So, what happens, o por lo quizá, quizá la mayoría escuchó 17th, es por el sonido de la TH. All right, so, Seventh Avenue. No es que sea 17th, right? Sino que es Seventh Avenue. All right, así que, very good job. Y que buena seguridad, que sí, 7 y 7. Right? So, very good. So, yes, this is going to be the Seventh Avenue. Very good. Excellent. So, in number seven, where are they going to have lunch on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Where are they going to have lunch on Saturday? In the Central Park. Central Park. Yes or no, people? Yes. Yes. Yay. Yes. Very good. And the last one is very easy. What surprise does Heather have for her brother? A basketball I'm match. Sorry. A basketball match. Excellent. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So personally, yo quiero felicitar porque este era un audio bastante complicado. All right. So eh, hubo que escucharlo varias veces. Sin embargo, ustedes hicieron un trabajo bastante, bastante bien. Y se pudieron dar cuenta que entre más se escuche uno, You know, más se va acostumbrando el oído y va escuchando detalles que anteriormente no había escuchado o entendido, right? Así que los felicito, muy buen trabajo, right? And let's just continue with the next part of this class, que viene la última parte, right? So let's see this one right here. What are we going to talk about now? It is going to be about this one right here. One second. It is about the going to going to, going to, going to, all right? So, ahorita lo comparto. Vamos a ir al manual ahorita, porque eso está ahí en el manual. If you're going to check your manual, sería la página 42, 42, en tu manual. Okay, so when it comes to this one right here. And it says there, all right. It says there, for example, this is the going to. The going to is actually, eh, como lo decíamos al principio de la clase, se utiliza para hablar de expresiones que van a suceder en el futuro. Es decir, yo voy a. Esa es la traducción que debemos manejar. Voy a. Y luego el verbo siempre quedará en su forma base. Super important right here that you need to remember. It's that we have, for example, el verbo to be. Siempre va a ir aquí contractado. All right, so, y luego tenemos aquí going to, siempre, y luego el verbo, right, it's going to be here en forma base. Por ejemplo, aquí dice, yo voy a llegar, yo voy a quedarme, eh, y aquí dice, going to travel, va a viajar. Mucho cuidado aquí porque todo depende del verbo to be. Recuerda, ese verbo to be tiene tres formas, am, is y are, dependiendo del sujeto. ¿Con qué sujeto vamos a utilizar am? Uh -huh. El verbo to be. ¿Con qué sujeto vamos a utilizar el, el, la palabra am? I. Con I. I. Okay. All right. E-R. You. Are. We. They. We. We. You. They. Muy bien. And is. It. And she. It. 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 Very good job. Exactly. Right. Y ahí tenemos eh, cómo se utilizan. Y dependiendo del sujeto que tengamos, vamos a tener el verbo to be en la oración. Por ejemplo, si usted se fija acá, dice mis puentes, es decir, la señorita puentes, y tenemos acá el verbo to be is. ¿Por, ¿Por qué tenemos este is acá? Porque estamos hablando de la señorita puentes. Entonces, por eso ya el verbo to be cambia. Pero lo que va a mantenerse siempre va a ser el going to y el verbo en su forma base. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo dirías Nancy va a ir a la fiesta? Nancy is going to the party. All right, excellent. cómo queda ahí. Nancy is going to go to the party, right? Sí, con esos dos tú ahí. ¿Por qué? Porque el primero que ustedes ven ahí es 
going to. Lo voy a escribir aquí en la pantalla para que puedan verlo todo. All right, so tenemos aquí. Nancy is going to go to the party. All right, so we go on this one right here. All right, so. ¿Por qué sería de esta manera? Porque el going to siempre está ahí. Eh, you know, como el auxiliar, voy a. Este que tenemos acá sería el verbo go y este tú siempre va después del go porque es de ir a un lugar. Entonces aquí dice Nancy va a ir a la fiesta. All right. ¿Estamos con ese people? Yes. Yes. Excellent. And how do you say, for example, eh, la parte negativa que sería entonces Nancy no irá a la fiesta. Mm -hmm. Hello? Nancy isn't going to the party. That is correct. To the party. You said isn't or is not. Cualquiera de los dos. All right. Como los ejemplos que tenemos aquí. Right? Mrs. Puentes o Miss Puentes is not going to fly to Cuba. All right? So how do you say, for example, yo no voy a comer pizza? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? I'm not going to eat the pizza. To eat pizza. pizza. Very good job. Excellent. So I am not going to eat pizza. Exactly. It's like that one. All right. And how do you say, for example, yo no voy a tomar Coca-Cola, for example? I am not to going drink Coca-Cola. I am not going to drink. All right. I am not going to drink Coca-Cola. Very good. I'm going and, to not. Very good. I'm going not. And how do you say, for example, um, Maria va a participar en la clase? Maria is going to participate in the class. Exactly, that is correct. So we got this one right here. And, you know, basically, eh, usamos el B plus going to para describir actividades que están programadas ya en el futuro y que definitivamente van a pasar, right? So, like, for example, es un hecho. Eh, a diferencia de will, que también se utiliza para futuro, will, it's actually como, como un plan, digamos, right? So, yo iré, yo estaré, yo comeré. Y el going to es para una acción que yo estoy dando una afirmación de que sí va a pasar, que definitivamente, yes, it's going to happen in the future, all right? And uh, we go for those tools right there. But don't worry, all right? So we're going to just uh, empezar este tema here today, tonight, sorry. And we are going to continue with this tomorrow, all right? Yes? All right, yes, so... Yes. Vamos a tener más ejercicios para practicar eh, este último este último tema here, so we can actually eh, you know para que no se sientan tan como like oh my god vamos a la carrera o algo por el estilo right remember and that's not the trip I mean the the the, the idea here all right so we are going to um, stop the class right here antes de que se vayan voy a pasar asistencia please pay attention and say present all right so let me see here. Today is 15th, right? All right, so let's see. Veamos, Abner. Abner. Oh, yes, he was here before. All right, uh, Alexa. Alexa, Alexa. Yes, is there. All right, Ana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Luisa. Present. Mr. Pardo. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Munguia. All right. All right. Eh, Present teacher. Thank you, Neftali. Munguia. Mm -hmm. Oops. All right. So, uh, Erlin. 
I'm here, teacher. Thank you. All right, Irma. Present, teacher. Jose Daniel Castro. Present. Thank you. All right, Jose Francisco Ordoñez. Escuchamos por Present, ahí. teacher. Hello, Carla Milena. Present, teacher. Thank you. All right, Kevin Eduardo Santos. Vimos un ratito, pero I don't know. All right, so. Luis Humberto González. María. Present, teacher. Marta Marisol. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Ruano. Here, teacher. All right, Nancy eh, Ochoa. Present, teacher. Oscar Giovanni. Present, teacher. Thank you. All right, Raúl Ramírez. Raúl no tiene. All right. All right, Sandra Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Sonia Maribel. Present teacher. William Giovanni. Right. Excelente. Bueno, nos vamos a detener hasta acá. Les agradezco mucho su asistencia a clase ese día lunes. Mañana continuamos con ese tema y obviamente nuevas cosas, right? Así que thank you very much for joining the class. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Thank good you, night. teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Have a good night. Tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Ooh, like a discotheque, huh?